Seeds, every gardener needs them to grow, but what are the best online websites to get them? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the websites I used to get my seeds this year. That's going to include the seed quality, the prices per seed, and then the seed packaging and how they look and how the whole experience kind of came together. The main difference between buying seeds online compared to a physical store is that a physical store such as Home Depot won't have the variety of seeds that you would get online. Between all the websites that I suggest for you guys today, you're gonna be able to pretty much get any vegetable, any flower, any herb, anything for your garden. Now, let's get into it. My name is Devin, the channel is Prepping to Survive, and I'm here to learn how to garden with you guys. In 2020, I created this channel because I went to the grocery store and there was no canned beans to buy. It made me realize what would happen if food wasn't available. I decided to garden my own food and dive headfirst into YouTube and make videos of what I've learned along the way. If you guys want to follow me on my gardening journey and grow with me, then consider prepping that like button until it turns blue, subscribing, Let's get on with the video. The one thing I always look for for any online seed website is that it's very easy to navigate. So I wanna be able to find my herbs, my vegetables, my flowers. It should be simple. I think it'll be the same for you guys. So the second thing as well is I like to have under each vegetable that I'm buying, I want the website to display a picture of what I'm buying at full maturity. So say I'm buying broccoli, I wanna see what the broccoli should look like at full maturity, so I kinda of know what to expect. Without further ado, here are my favorite websites to buy seeds. So the first website is William Dam Seeds, damseeds.com, and they focus on old and traditional style of gardening. That's why you'll see on their seed packages, it looks more retro, so it'll be like a 1960s magazine style look. There are a few things that stand out the most to make William Dam Seeds my number one pick. One is the simplicity of the website. It's extremely easy to navigate. They don't try to upsell you anything else. They don't advertise. It's just overall a very good user experience. At the very top, you can see their menu. There'll be vegetables, flowers, and herbs. And one of the best features with this website is if you hover over vegetables, there's gonna be a drop down menu of all the vegetables that they're selling. Second, when you do click on something such as tomatoes, you'll be able to filter through categories such as bush, paste, or cherry tomatoes. I haven't really seen that on too many other seed company websites, or at least the filters aren't as easy to find. I planted their seeds last year, and I had zero issues with the germination rate, and the seeds grew really nicely. As far as the price, I will say Dam Seeds is a bit more expensive than the average seed company but their website does have a greater selection of seeds available than most of the online seed companies that I have, I have searched up. So the seed packaging is pretty simple with design kind of concept, but they've got the name of the crop, which is, this is kale. They've got a little description right below the picture of the crop. And then on the back, they've got kind of what is kale, any health benefits, a description of the actual crop. And then right below that, they've got the how to grow section. So they give you instructions on how to grow, temperatures they grow in. They give you just kind of a general growing instructions, fairly detailed for what I've seen. And then right below they have approximately how many seeds you have, the germination rate, which for this is 99%, which is crazy good. And then pack tested for and the year. So out of all three companies, I say this is the best and most detailed seed package I bought. So the second website that I bought from this year is SeedsNow, SeedsNow.com. SeedsNow is a family owned and operated company and they started their company to promote organic and self-sustaining lifestyles. One of the coolest things with SeedsNow.com is they put together a variety pack of seeds and a seed bank. So that is, if you want to make salsa, they have a salsa variety pack of seeds so everything you'll need to make salsa with, they put all the seeds together. And then with seed banks, one of the features is they have a fall and winter seed bank. 
So every single crop that does well in cold weather, they have that all the seeds put together for you and they have a bunch of different varieties. So that's just makes it a lot easier for anyone to order once they come to the website. The website itself is easy to navigate. They do promote a few more of their own products, but that's to make deciding easy for you guys. Plus at the top, they give you two ways to search for what you want. You can do it either alphabetically or you can use the drop down menu and do it that way. If you're on a budget this year for your seed purchases, then Seeds Now is one of the best websites to order from. They have 99 cent seeds. They're the cheapest seeds I have found across all the websites. The only downside for how cheap the seeds are is the germination rate was a bit lower at 85%, but it won't be a problem because you just have to sow a bit more seeds when you start planting. As far as the seed packages, they're very basic. It's just a piece of plastic, a plastic bag with the seeds in it. The information on the plastic bag isn't much, but on the Seeds Now website, it does a great job at giving additional information when you click on the seed varieties. Overall, Seeds Now is a great quality company with quality seeds for an extremely good price, and I highly recommend them. The last and final company that I'm recommending in this video is Hudson Valley Seeds, which they focus on heirlooms, and open pollinated seeds. If you guys are into art at all, then Hudson Valley Seeds puts together these things called art packs, and it's just artists across the United States that have custom made these seed packages for the variety of seeds, and any artist can submit them. It's an open call. That was one really cool thing that I found on the Hudson Valley Seeds website. The website also is extremely easy to navigate. At the very top, you'll see vegetables, flowers, and herbs like the rest with the drop down menu and from there you can just click on what you are looking for with a great selection of seeds. With the pricing per seed, it's average, it's not expensive or cheap. Another really great feature with Hudson Valley Seeds is when you do click on say a vegetable such as tomato again, when you go to the page they do have at the very top, they'll have a filter for the different types of tomatoes such as slicing tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, paste tomatoes, or dry tomatoes. Overall, the seeds that I've used from the website have been high quality, they germinate properly, and they're exactly what you purchase. For this video, I only covered three of my top seed company websites for this year. Some honorable mentions is My Gardener. He's a fellow YouTuber. He gives some extremely good information on his videos. You guys definitely should check him out. Another one is johnnyseeds.com. They give a bunch of information on growing from their website. There's Baker's Creek Heirloom Seeds, which just focuses on heirloom seeds and West Coast seeds. These are just a few. There's many, many more, but I thought I'd mention a couple more options for you guys. What I've learned from ordering seeds through the year, whether you buy the same broccoli from one website to another, doesn't really matter too much. It's the variety that each website offers with seeds. Yes, I will admit that I do buy from the same companies because I know that they have a certain seed that I really enjoy and they deliver a solid product and have always treated me well. And one thing to keep in mind is the best time to buy the seeds is fall or early winter. And that way that you'll have a bigger variety of seeds to choose from, nothing will be sold out. Thank you guys for watching this video and joining me on my gardening journey. Hopefully I helped you guys choose where to buy your seeds this year. I will have a link to all the websites and the honorable mentions in the description below so you guys can choose where you wanna buy your seeds. Until next video.